touch my hair When it's the feelings I wear Don't touch my soul When it's the rhythm I know Y'all, welcome back to my channel. So to get started, you're gonna need a dome cap, needle and thread, a hair clip, a wig stand, and of course, a mannequin head with hair pins. So as I'm going ahead and starting, I've marked off where my lace closure is gonna go. So you wanna make sure your hair is braided down flat, put your wig cap on, and mark off where the lace closure will fit on your head. Um, the measurements, how, well, how the lace closure lays on your wig cap is going to be different than how it will lay on your head. As you see here, my lace closure is pointing downwards. So you'll see later on in this tutorial how I start sewing the tracks. I'm sewing them kind of like in a downward motion because the cap is not laying on this mannequin head, how it will lay on your actual head. Right now, I'm just going in sewing down that lace closure. And there's no particular way to this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Well, I mean, I guess it does have to be perfect. But just make sure your lace closure is laying flat. That's the main thing. Um, the sewing technique doesn't have to be perfect. I just use regular um, sewing thread and a regular curved needle. I do loop and pull each time I sew. Um, so each time I go through the lace closure, I put the thread around the needle and do a loop method. When I get to the ends of the closure and all of my tracks, I do a knot. And there I'm showing you where my ears are marked off on the closure. So I also mark my ears I mean on the cap. I also mark my ears on the cap just because I don't like my tracks. I don't like to sew my tracks all over the cap and then when I put the wig on it's like irritating my ears and tracks are like pushing up against my ear and stuff. I just like to leave a few gaps in my cap. So I'm starting here. When I first start each track I sew the needle through the weft and then after that I sew around the weft of the track. I also don't cut any of my tracks. I just flip them over and keep sewing. So as you see here, as I'm sewing, I'm sewing the tracks in the back, which this would technically be the bottom of the wig. I'm sewing it just left to right, back and forth, back and forth. As I get to the part where I've marked off the ears on my cap, I will start sewing my tracks in like a U shape, up and down, up and down, the same direction that my lace closure is laying. And also, as you can see, I did double my tracks in the back of the wig just because I have three bundles and I knew I was going to get all three bundles in the wig. And I don't even think I wanted three bundles in the wig because it will just be too thick. So I just doubled the tracks in the back and then I will start singling it out when I get to my second bundle. This is a fairly easy way to make a wig. You just wanna make sure that you're sewing the tracks left to right in the back. And as you see here, now I'm going in an up and down, like a upside down U direction. You wanna sew it like this at the top so that when you put the 
cap on your head you put the wig on your tracks all fall the same direction and they're not bumpy Make sure when you're sewing your cap, you're not going through the elastic band. Even though I'm hitting the elastic band on the very edge right here of the cap, I'm not going through the band. I'm picking up a little bit of the like fabric of the cap. I'm not going through the elastic because then if I sew through the elastic, the cap won't be able to stretch. Also check the description box about this hair. This is three bundles of Brazilian body wave and one closure. The bundles are 14 inches and then the closure is 12 inches. However, after I put the hair, put the wig on, I did cut the hair to about 12 inches. If you notice that the lace closure looks a little uneven um, between the gaps I have on this wig, I did place my closure slightly uneven on my cap just so that I will have enough space to do a middle part and a side part. This is a 4x4 four four closure so I will have to place it just a slightly crooked so I'll have enough space to part it different ways. Here I'm coming on my last track, which will be the track that I sew to the lace closure. You wanna make sure that you do sew your last track directly attached to your closure so that you won't have any gaps between your hair. I'm doing one, I'm doubling it up before I hit that last track. So I'm just sewing this track directly on top of the one I just did. And after this, I'll be sewing my last track and I'll be attaching it to the closure. All right, so I'm about to show you my last track that I'll be sewing to the edges of my lace closure right here. Then here is going to be the finished wig. You want to make sure you cut out the inside of that cap right there and not too close to the thread so it doesn't unravel. After you cut that out, go ahead and cut the edges of your lace closure and then measure out your elastic band depending on how tight you want your wig to fit. Once you've measured out the elastic band, go ahead and sew it to the edges of the cap. This is the finished wig. I thank y'all so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next video.